Hey, good morning. It's morning. It's usually afternoon. That's why you don't see a drink in my hand right now. But what we're going to do right now is something that takes a little bit of time because of the way I'm doing it. But when it comes out, it is fantastic. It tastes absolutely delicious. And I, I, I think you're really going to like it. Um, we're going to start with the ingredients. Uh, basically, you need some chicken. Okay, so I've got some frozen chicken here, a couple of breasts, and some, uh, what do you call these things? Thighs? We got, I yeah, don't know. thighs. <laughs> chicken thighs. <laughs> okay, so a uh, couple of things of uh, ranch mix, some pepperoncini, and roasted bell peppers. This is it, okay? You also are going to need a crock pot uh, or a slow cooker. If you don't have one of these, get one. Uh, this is thanks to my compadre, Hiram. Gracias. Uh, so anyway, what we're going to do is you're going to take the chicken just like that. You're going to place it, frozen, inside the, uh, the slow cooker. You're going to take the whole jar of pepperoncini and you're going to just put it out there. You're going to take the whole jar. the peppers. I'm going to put these out there as well. <laughs> that wasn't very flattering, was it? <laughs> but you're also going to then take the ranch and simply open it up and pour it in. This is extremely easy to make and trust me when I tell you that this is about one of the most delicious things you're ever going to eat. Um, it takes a while to cook because I'm doing it frozen. However, if you do it uh, with thawed chicken, uh, it should take considerably less. We like to put it in uh, the slow cooker on low, and I like to put it for eight hours. Um, that's it. We'll come back in a few, uh, once probably a couple hours from now, so you can see how it starts to uh, work inside the uh, slow cooker as it starts to thaw out. Uh, and Sometime before dinner, it'll be ready, and it's fantastic. It's really delicious stuff, easy to make, pretty cheap, actually. And uh, depending on how much you make, it'll last for, for quite a bit. So let's see what happens. I forgot. I had some chicken wings, some frozen chicken wings. And I'm going to throw in there because chicken wings have a lot of fat on it. <laughs> and uh, just will give the taste a nice little kick to it, all right? So we're going to leave that in there, we're going to close it up, uh, we'll be back in a couple hours to check it out, and uh, wait till you see how it comes out. It's fantastic stuff, easy, cheap, delicious. Okay, it's so two and a half hours into this, and it's already starting to look really good, and I can tell you the smell that's coming out of here is <laughs> fantastic. So why don't you just take a look and see. As you can see, the chicken has started to thaw. And uh, a lot of the water that you see there is from the frozen chicken itself. Uh, as it starts heating up, it comes off. And of course, you have the, uh, the liquid from the pepperoncini and the pimentos. So we're going to leave it here for another four or five hours. One thing to note is that this would, of course, take a lot less time if you actually used thawed chicken instead. Uh, however, we went this route because uh, we got stuff to do in the afternoon. But we're actually going to leave, come back. By the time we're back, it's done. Um, one thing to note that we didn't say before, or that I didn't say before, because I'm the only one talking here. She's behind the camera. Never does <laughs> shit. Um, God. Just sitting here all day. Anyway, uh, so the thing is that uh, one thing I didn't say before is the fact that this only has two to three uh, carbs per serving. And those carbs come in the way of the pepperoncini and the pimentos, or the pimentos. Uh, but uh, it's a very, very low-carb uh, dish. Uh, so if you're into any low-carb diet, uh, this should be something that be a slam dunk for you. All right, so uh, we'll be back in a few hours once it's done. You'll see me take the first taste and uh, we'll take it from there, okay? See you guys in a few well, Guys, I told you it was going to take a couple of hours and it's already drinking time. Actually, Corona time. La cerveza más fina. Corona. Hint. Anyway, so take a look at this. This is what it's starting to look like right about now. Uh, we're about, say, four hours in. As you can see, the chicken is starting to cook. Everything's been thawed out. It's on slow setting, um, but the flavor that the pepperoncini and the uh, and the pimentos give it, along with the ranch, is something that needs to be savored. 
I'm telling you, for the amount of money that you spend actually making this, and the ease of, of, of confection, it's silly. Uh, but the, uh, the actual taste that you're going to get out of it is going to be fantastic. So we're going to leave it probably around another two hours in there, and then we'll check it out. I think it'll be ready by then. Uh, you can eat this just like that. You can mince it up and put it into a bun. Um, you know, you can put some white rice and then pour it on top of it. A lot of stuff can be done with it. It's fantastic. It tastes great. And in a few minutes, uh, well, about 120 minutes, <laughs> we'll be back and then we'll taste it, okay? Salud, Nastrovia. Corona. I normally don't drink a lot of beer, but when I do, I drink a lot. But anyway, so it's finally done. It's been about uh, close to five hours. It didn't take the full eight that we thought. I don't think we put that much chicken in it. It was only us two. But uh, take a look. This is it. Complete it. And um, it's nice and bubbly. It's doing good stuff in there. And look at that. This completely just starts to dissolve. Uh, so we're going to bring it over here. And I'm going to cut it. Give it the first taste. And holy shit. Excuse my French. <laughs> That is good. Eso está buenísimo. Seriously, though. Watch. Let me give a little bit to my camera girl here. It's hot. Mm -hmm. Like? Yep. Yeah. Right. So that's it. Mm. Very easy to make. Once you put it in there, you really do nothing except just move it around to make sure that the chicken gets mm. infused. But other than that, it cost us uh, probably around seven bucks to make this. Uh, it's going to be delicious. Uh, we're going to put it over some white rice. And uh, I hope that if you try it, you'll enjoy it as much as we will today. Thanks a lot for stopping by. And uh, come back and visit my uh, Facebook page, my YouTube page <laughs> at some point uh, so that you can uh, see all the other good stuff that I'm going to be trying out. All right? Thanks a lot.